I've had a few client projects where I was asked to highlight certain objects with a bright outline. The outline served to indicate to the user that they should interact with the object. The problem with many outline effects, however, is that they are applied as post-process screen space effects, which are extremely taxing on the Quest's graphics hardware. Fortunately, I have come across a free solution on the Unity Asset Store, which works great on the Quest. It's the Quick Outline Asset by Chris Nolet. It has been created with VR in mind and applies outlines to objects directly in world space, not screen space. I have used this asset on the Quest with both built-in and universal render pipelines and it works well in both. I will show you how to download it off the Unity Asset Store. In your web browser, go to assetstore.unity.com. Now, in the Asset Store search bar, type Quick Outline. The Quick Outline asset will appear in the search results. Click on it. Now, click on Add to My Assets. Accept the terms of service. Open the Unity project in which you wish to use the outline effect. If you wish to use the same scene as me, then you can simply create a new project from the Unity Hub using the 3D Sample Scene URP template. Anyway, back to the editor. We want to import the Quick Outline asset into the current project. Go to the top menu bar and click on Window and then the Package Manager. From the Package Manager window, go to the Packages drop-down menu in the top left and make sure that My Assets are selected. Now, from the left sidebar, select Quick Outline. Click the Download button. And once the asset has downloaded, click Import. The Import Unity Package window will appear. Click the Import button in the bottom right. Once the import is complete, you can close the Package Manager. Back in the main editor window, I'm going to select the object on which I want to apply the outline effect. I'm going to select the jigsaw. OK, now go to the project panel. You will notice a new quick outline folder under Assets. Inside this folder, you will notice a scripts folder. Open it. With your target object selected, simply add the outline script to it via the inspector panel. We are almost ready. I'm just changing the outline appearance here making it pink and increasing its thickness. Unfortunately, the outline effect will not be visible until we go into play mode. Before we do this, however, we need to check a couple of things. It's possible that the outline effect might look a little wonky, unless you do the following. First, you should set the 3D model's mesh to read writable. To find the Jigsaw's 3D model file, click on the mesh reference in the inspector panel. It's called Power underscore Jigsaw underscore Low. Now select the root 3D model file in which this mesh is embedded. It's called Jigsaw underscore Low. Back in the inspector, make sure Model is highlighted in the tab bar. Then make sure the Read Write checkbox is ticked. Click the Apply button. Finally, we want to make sure that Optimize Mesh Data is disabled in the project settings. So let's go to the top menu bar and select Edit and then the Project Settings. From the sidebar of the Project Settings window, make sure Player is selected. Scroll down through the Player settings in the main panel until you get to the Optimization subsection. Untick the Optimize Mesh Data checkbox. Close the Project Settings window. OK, we are back in the main editor. Let's test the outline effect in play mode. Before we do this, please check that your headset is turned on and connected to your PC. You must also put your headset into Quest Link mode. OK, now go back to the Unity editor. Before we try out play mode, let's take another look at the outline component. You will notice that there is an outline mode setting, with a choice of five outline modes. We will now test these modes out in play mode. So let's go ahead and hit the play button. After a short pause, the Unity editor should be in play mode and you will be able to view the VR scene through your headset. 
you will now be able to see a strong pink outline around the jigsaw. You'll notice I've also added the green outline to the hammer. I will quickly cycle through the outline modes to illustrate the various effects. We are currently in Outline All mode. Next we have Outline Visible, Outline Hidden, Outline and Silhouette, and finally Silhouette Only. OK, we are back in the editor now and have exited play mode. Before we finish, there's just a couple of things I'd like to point out. First, I'd like to draw your attention to the pre-compute outline feature. It's recommended that this is enabled for large meshes, as it reduces the amount of work that the outline component needs to do during its awake function. Lastly, if you need to switch the outline on and off during runtime, you can simply set the outline component's enable property to true or false as needed. Please refer to the components readme file for more details. And that about covers it. Goodbye and happy questing.